in this video we want to take a look at maxima and minima problems. Now at the moment we are still on the topic of variable acceleration and the idea behind this video is to take a look at how we can use differentiation to find the maximum and minimum values of displacement, velocity and acceleration. Now what I've got here is a question that we're just going to jump straight into so I've got a particle that moves along the x-axis. The velocity of the particle v meters per second in the positive x direction at time t seconds is given by this quadratic here. So for part A, we're asked to find the initial velocity of the particle. So remember, as soon as you see this phrase here of initial velocity, t is equal to zero. So what I'm going to do here is substitute t equals zero into our um, velocity here. So v is equal to three lots of zero squared minus zero plus two. In that case, then this will be zero. This will also be zero. I just get left with two there. Okay, so in that case, we get two meters per second. Okay, so that's the solution to part A. For part b then we're asked to find the minimum velocity of the particle here. So if I want the minimum velocity of the particle, what I need then is where dv by dt is equal to zero. Okay, so I'm going to differentiate v here with respect to t, so dv by dt. So in that case then I'm going to get 6t here, minus 1, and obviously this plus two here is a constant, so when you differentiate that, that becomes zero, okay? So the question here is why are we differentiating to get dv by dt? If you were to think about kind of um, the idea behind this plot here of v, if you were to draw that, what we're looking for is the stationary points, okay? So that's what we're looking for here. So what I need to do then is differentiate and set this now equal to zero, okay? So in that case then, dv by dt, must be equal to zero. So what we can say then is 6t minus one is equal to zero. So solve for t here. So we get 6t is equal to one. And in that case, then we get t is equal to one over six, okay? Now be careful here. This isn't the minimum velocity of the particle. What this is telling you is the time when the velocity is minimized, okay? So what I need to do now is take this value of t here and substitute that back into our um, equation here for the velocity. So therefore, v is equal to three lots of one over six squared minus one over six plus two, okay? What you need to do here now is just put this into your calculator. So if I quickly do that here, so I get one over six squared, I'm gonna times that by three, and then I'm gonna minus one over six, and then I'm gonna add two. And what I get here, if I give this to a sensible degree of accuracy, so whether that's three significant figures or two decimal places here, it doesn't really matter, you'll get the same. I'm going to say that v here is equal to 1.92 there. Okay, so we're talking about velocity, we need meters per second. Okay. And there we have it. So that's the solution to that one, part b, that gives us the minimum velocity. Now we don't need to kind of investigate whether that's going to be the minimum or maximum, because if we think about the sketch here of the velocity, this would be a quadratic and it would be a u-shaped quadratic something like that okay so we're only going to have a minimum so in that case we don't need to worry about the minimum or maximum it will only be the minimum in this case okay so that's the solution to part a and that's our solution to part b there taking a look at one more question here to finish with we've got a particle that moves along the x-axis the velocity of the particle v meters per second in the positive x direction at time t seconds is given by this quadratic here now for part A, we're asked to show that P never comes to rest. So we need to think about what this actually means. So P comes to rest when V is equal to zero. Okay, so what we're saying then is 2T squared minus 4T plus 3 is equal to zero. Okay, now if P never comes to rest, what that would suggest to me is there is actually no real solutions to this quadratic here. If I want to investigate that idea, what I can use then is a discriminant. So remember for the discriminant here, delta, that's going to be b squared minus 4ac, okay? So I need to apply that now to this quadratic here, where a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 4, and c is equal to 3. So the discriminant here is equal to minus 4 squared, so minus 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 3, okay? So I'm going to get 16 here, minus 4 times 2, which is 8, times it by 3, I get 24. 
So I get 16 minus 24, and that gives me minus 8 there. Okay, so in that case now, what I can see here is that the discriminant is less than 0, it's negative. And what that tells us then is we have no real solutions. Okay, so we have no real solutions. And therefore, P never comes to rest. So P never comes to rest. Okay. And that's what we need for part A there. So just thinking a little bit outside the box there, obviously you just need to understand the idea there that if P comes to rest, then V is equal to zero. So they equal to zero and just show that we have no real solutions. Okay, so that's our solution to part A. Let's just clear that just so we can see B um, clearly here. So we're asked to find the value of t at which the velocity is minimized. So pretty similar to the last question. The wording's slightly different here though. But I am going to employ the same kind of method that we did. So if we're looking for the velocity to be minimized here, I need dv by dt equals zero. Okay. Remember this can only be minimized because this is a positive quadratic, so it's going to have that u shape again. So I need to differentiate this here. So dv by dt here, that's going to be 2t squared, so 2 times 2 is 4, reduce the power by 1, so I get 4t. I've then got minus 4t here, if you differentiate that, that will give you minus 4, and clearly this constant here, when you differentiate that, that becomes 0. So I get 4t minus 4, so if dv by dt must be equal to 0, then 4t minus 4 must equal 0, okay? What we need to do now is actually just solve for t. That's all this question actually wants here. So add 4 to both sides. So I get 4t is equal to 4. And if I just want t here, I just need to divide by the coefficient of 4. So t is equal to 4 over 4, giving me 1 there. Okay, so the value of t at which the velocity is minimized is t equals 1. So after one second, the velocity is minimized. Okay. And there we have it. So that's our solution to that question. And that brings the end of this video on maxima and minima problems. We didn't take a look at too many examples in this video, but we will definitely see more examples like this where we take a look at the maxima and minima for our displacement, velocity, and acceleration, and our exam revision for variable acceleration. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at using integration.